Interesting session, a lot of uh, novel discussions on the topic on advanced prostate cancer, for example, what to do with the lymph node recurrence when you have a, uh, treated the prostatectomy, the prostate cancer, and you had a time of uh, disease free, and then it comes to a recurrence, what to do when you just have a couple lymph nodes within the pelvis. And uh, there's one group presenting that it makes sense and it prolongs uh, overall survival when you resect those lymph nodes. So in other words, do a, a salvage lymph node dissection. And the abstract afterwards was interesting. The abstract was covering um, or was discussing the possible downsides or the complications on a lymph node, salvage lymph node dissection. And they show up to 40 percent a complication rate in salvage lymph node dissection. So that was interesting, one part. Then the session moved into uh, systemic therapy in metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer and there was one interesting abstract presented by Fred Saad on the combination and sequence of um, radium-223, so alpha emitter that is targeting the lesions in the bone in combination with AR target therapy like abiraterone and enzalutamide and showing that the combination and sequence, so when you combine, overlap um, radium-223 with a target a novel androgen targeted therapy, the overall survival is increased, prolonged, so this might make sense uh, and further studies will report phase three data on this topic. So very, very interesting in, in this situation. One other abstract on the group from Professor Heidenreich from Cologne was looking at uh, metastatic prostate cancer, how often you should do imaging. And they came to the conclusion that in this setting you should do imaging three to six months in order to not oversee a progression which is not highlighted by the PSA value or clinical signs of progression. So they advised, their take home message was really to do imaging and I really urge investigators having a median overall survival um, of about 30 months, two to three years in advanced metastatic castration resistant prostate cancer to really invest in imaging and do imaging at least every six months.